Hello everyone and welcome. I just thought I'd make a quick video showing um, how I use jaws. So I have an old sculpt here which I don't really care much about. Uh, so I thought what if I just do some jaws testing on it. So before the video I quickly made a new layer so I could just get his face out of the way. Um, and I appended a sphere just so I can draw the jaws onto that. So I load up my brush, jaws, and let's see what we can do. Symmetry is on. So I just go into no perspective mode. Make sure it's stayed in the center. It's not essential, but I recommend it. And already I've got something that I personally like a lot more than the guy's previous face. It's kind of macabre and just very unusual. And it's not necessarily something I would quickly come up with. So this is a great way to come up with designs, I think. I should have made these ages ago, instead of constantly making teeth and jaws from scratch. So I don't know if many people know this, but if you have the move uh, mode on, you can just easily uh, toggle between different mouths. Sometimes it glitches out. Which is not ideal for this video. Sometimes it, uh, it rotates 180 degrees in the x or y axis. But not too often. So very quickly I can cycle through ideas. Dunkleosteus. Uh, they often require a bit of scaling, but it's generally in place. Mm, I quite like that. I'm also quite a fan of Z brushes and new filters. You can get a better idea of the, silhou well, the silhouette, but just the, the shapes. Yeah, I really like that. Um, let's see some others. Mm. Like this. So, as you can see, very, very quickly you can combine designs and just come up with stuff you might not necessarily have thought about. I'm a huge fan of goat, goat like skulls and jaws and teeth. All teeth, I think, since I was born. When I came out of my mum, I liked teeth. Just teeth, 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 and jaws. They're just, I don't know what it is, I can't explain it, but they look cool. Jaws and teeth. Mmm, I like that one a lot. Very much what I'm looking for. Uh, let's try some more. Cocotic. Mm. Kind of like that. So, this guy's inspiration should be clear to many who know Doom, the uh, Cacodemon. It's not a complete ripoff, it's just an inspiration. Uh, greatest form of flattery, right? Let's see what that looks like. Mm. I do like that a lot. Let's try some others. Uh, goat Emperor, I've been through that one. Demon Rag, Ragworm. It's a filthy little guy. This one does not work for me. So on to the next. This is one of my favorites because it's so grotesque but also kind of silly in a way. It's a bit stupid but I like that kind of thing. But it doesn't fit in this case, unless we can make it fit. Just very roughly move stuff into place. Nah, it's a 
think I know one arm will work for me. Let's try another mouth. Of course, it won't. All, not all mouths will always work with all. That's why you've got an option. Let's see. Yeah, you can probably squeeze that in there somewhere. That's not what I'm looking for at the moment. Where are we? Camera rack. Mm, too much noise at the moment. Let's try rip more. Yes. I like what could happen here, possibly. I mean, sculpting each of these could take hours. But now you can just draw them out to your heart's content and come up with designs. In a, just in an instant. Right. Done the 180 thing again. Huh. Actual jaws. The only problem is this, there's so many options now, you're going to have to wind up choosing one eventually. So I do recommend taking a whole bunch of uh, renders and saving them. And then the next day, or just straight away, an hour later, come back to them and check them out one by one. Ooh, I like this a lot. Uh, check them one by one and see which one jumps out at you the most. It's usually quite clear. Ask other people for feedback and see what people vote on, what people like the most. To give the people what they want. This is what I want. I like this. This would de definitely be the top of my list if I had to commit to a design and you know re apologize and texture and all that. That's quite revolting. And revolting is good. So I'm not blitzing through each preset. I'm taking my time and checking each one out. But it's still very, very, very fast and convenient come up with designs. I am repeating myself, I'm aware of that and I apologize. Hmm, sometimes simple is good like this. Well, now I'm actually going quite fast. I like blunt teeth. Because I think being eaten by blunt teeth Probably far worse than sharp teeth getting crushed. Anyway, <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Uh, malform. Love these kind of teeth. Yeah, this really works for me. It's not exotic, it's very standard teeth, but it just works. Let's see what that looks like in a good old MP R render. Hmm. I do like that a lot. See, so the brush is behaving now. And it's not Jaws a specific brush, it's all these IMM sometimes spin 180 or scale really small, but generally it should behave like this. Just very quickly. Hmm, that's pretty cool. So at the time of making this video. This whole pack is only $19, which I think is very good value for money. So if you want to check it out, um, I'll leave links below to my ArtStation store and so on. Thank you very much for watching, and have an excellent day. Cheers.